Delicious green tea easily reveals its quality, but it is not always easy to pick out the factors that make a particular green tea great. How to tell if Japanese green tea is good quality or not? Seven rules you should know. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. That way, as we release more contents like this, you don't miss it. And if you are on YouTube, click the alert notification button. Number one, check how the tea looks. The first clear point of distinction is in the appearance of the dry leaf. The general look of the leaf is a quality marker. However, the way a tea leaf looks can be very tricky. Many people are fooled by beautiful packaging. You might get some real ugly teas that taste superb. For instance, the color of Gyokuro green tea would look a lot greener than other types of sencha tea. This is because the process Gyokuro tea goes through for covering makes the tea look much greener than other non-covered sencha tea. Therefore, the greener and brighter the color the better is a false statement when it comes to quality of the tea. The appearance of the dry leaf will be beautiful to behold, but it might just be that the photo of the tea you're looking at was taken at exactly the right angle. If people know how to fake it, they can make some high quality looking tea even if it's not high quality. The look of a green tea is a quality marker, but it's not a very reliable one. You can also check for consistency of the green tea's appearance. This would involve looking for consistent shapes, consistent sizes, and consistency of leaf sizes. Are the tea leaves whole or are they broken up? Some more things to note on the appearance of the green tea leaf include the following. Check for consistency in the shape of the tea. That doesn't necessarily mean that it has to always be the same. For example, it doesn't always have to be buds. Green teas can come in many forms of leaves, but you still want consistency within whatever variation you choose. You'll also want to choose a green tea that shows consistent color. Some teas will be lighter or darker in color depending on the variety, but if the tea has varied hues, then those color variations should be consistent throughout the sample. You can also look at the texture of the leaf. This will tell you how it was processed and how well the ball of tea was rolled. Number two, smell your tea. The next step in assessing green tea quality is to smell the green tea leaf. But before you do so, keep the next caveat in mind. Many people make the mistake of only smelling the dry leaf. You can get some whiff of the tea's nature, but it's not going to tell you the entire story. The personality of the tea reveals itself the most when the tea leaf is warm and wet. One big advantage of brewing and rinsing your green tea is that you can smell those wet leaves. This is the best way to really appreciate the aroma. If it's a good one, you'll know it from those wet leaves before you even start brewing. Knowledgeable tea drinkers always make their assessments on the aroma of the leaves from the wet leaves and not the dry leaves. Wet leaves are the best way of getting a good sense of the scent. Once you know the scent, you'll have a better idea on the quality of the tea. There are green tea merchants that take advantage of customers' naivety. Tea sellers use this trick through selling fragrance teas. These are so popular because it takes a low quality tea and adds a fragrance to trick customers. The tea then has more of a wow factor. Always make sure to wait until the leaves are wet to smell the tea. So far, we have covered two of the seven points. To learn the other five points, click here to watch the next video. Alternatively, click here to learn about how to select Japanese tea.